Hi, this is Ben Modell. I'm a silent film historian and accompanist and a filmmaker. And this is another in a series of examinations of how silent film comedians use the difference between shooting and projection speeds to create comedy. And we are deconstructing the entire short The Goat, starring Buster Keaton. And here is part one. We're going to take a look at this scene by scene, first at projected speed, then at shooting speed, and then back at projection speed again. The film's got a nice slow start so it can build somewhere. And we can see uh, this uh, is a sequence where we're just getting little bits of information. And when we look at the whole sequence uh, in real-time speed, you'll see that this is really kind of stretched out, unintentionally, of course, uh, but the increase in speed removes extra pauses so that we're just getting the information that we need. Uh, Buster's impatience, um, waiting around, um, uh, the fact that these guys are walking around, the information is these guys are walking past him. Uh, notice the use of masking here is a really uh, nice effect. Uh, he's still impatient. Notice that almost all the shots here are just flat lateral shots. Um, you'll see this little bit here with the pin uh, coming up and Buster sort of quickly spins around. Uh, the snap sort of timing right there. And when we see this again in a moment at cranking speed, you'll see what it actually looked like. Again, the information is people are going up and getting more bread. And this guy quickly just removes the mannequins out from in front of Buster. He just grabs them and snaps them up and out of the way, and Buster sort of stumbles. And the flat shot accentuates this run. And again, when we see in this close-up, the window sort of slams, and he just gives it a quick uh, little wrap on the window. Uh, it doesn't really get him anywhere. And then he moves on. But that's the information. Now let's take a look at this at what we, is probably the speed it was shot at, which is 16 frames per second. And one of the things we can see here, watch Buster's face. A couple of blinks, a couple of melodramatic turns of the head. Again, he sees the bread. And watch this guy. He grabs it, but pulls it away from him. We can see that they're explaining something to him. But when it's sped up, we, we're just, we, we don't pay attention to the mouths. Look how long this takes for Buster to amble past this long line up to max clothing. And again, uh, in real-time speed, there's room for uh, pauses to go in here. So while what we saw before was Buster's impatience, what there's room for here is he's going to hit a position, pause, next position. Okay, so here he is. There's one pose, wait. And then another position, wait. Another position, wait. So it registers when it's faster. Now notice he doesn't see them until the third guy goes by. But again, when it's sped up, it makes complete sense. Again, just the information here. That it connects those two spaces. Again, position, wait. Position, wait. And it's the same thing over and over, but putting those pauses in because when you increase the speed, they'll get erased. And again, uh, you'll see now what that quick snap uh, that Buster did actually actually looks like in real time. It's very quick, but when you speed it up, it looks like this quick snap. And look how long he's waiting. There's a little double take there. Look how much shorter Buster is than the standard mannequin. Notice he rubs his leg three or four times. Again, when you speed that up, uh, if you only do it once, it won't register. And notice here you'll see how heavy those mannequins really are. Oof! All right, and uh, weight uh, gets shifted when you speed it up. Look how heavy this one is. Ooh, has to grab it twice. Uh, when you speed uh, speed it up, uh, the weight things have uh, gets decreased. Um, and again, here we are at this close-up in the window, and notice he gets a little trouble getting it closed. And notice that wrap on the window, which looked really quick, is actually this rhythm. Here it comes. He taps on the window like this. Bump, ba -da dum bump. And that's what it looks like in real time. Okay, back to projection speed, 24 frames. We know it's 24 frames. There is a 
a promotional piece of material I've seen for the electric house that lists both the running speed and the footage, which indicates that a 1921 short like that would have been expected to be run at 24. Again, here, the information we get is Buster walking past this long line. And where we saw before, pose, pause, pose, pause, here we are, we're just seeing him shifting. That's what it appears to be, is shifting, shifting, and shifting. If he had not put those pauses in, he would look like he'd had way too much espresso. But this way, by putting those pauses in, each pose registers. Okay, here we are again, connecting those two uh, spaces in this lateral shot. Again, it just looks like impatience. We don't see those pauses. And he's going to pop up. And that's the speed increase helping us uh, there again. It's not important what Buster's saying. We just see that he's upset. And here we are. We'll get to see that snap again. Again, because it's followed by a pause, it reads, and it looks like a quick snap. Okay, again, remember how heavy those mannequins looked. But in this, uh, in this sped-up world, they're much lighter, almost like they're made out of styrofoam, and you can quickly just get them out of there so that Buster can get onto the next bit of information, which is that, oh my God, those are mannequins. This is, accentuates the run, and this time you'll see the window just kind of slams down, and that little bump, bada dum bum becomes a quick rap on the window, and he just moves on. Deadshot Dan. And this sequence uh, we're about to look at is rather simple, but rather slow, uh, but it's fun because what follows uh, in the film has a lot more energy in it. And again, you see, this officer says something. We can't really tell what he's saying, but he's gesturing at the criminal and saying, take his picture. And we can figure that out for ourselves. And notice the straight line between the camera, the guy in the chair, and Buster. And this all is all in one long take, very slow and deliberate, broken up by this to you, so you know that he's covering the lens. Of course, when this film was released, everybody understood how cameras worked. And you could do a double exposure that way. And of course, this scene is a quick blackout. And the information here, again, is that the guy has escaped, even though we don't really see that much at all. Just the information. Can't find him, can't find him, he runs off. Okay, let's take a look at that at shooting speed. Cranking at 16. We can see, you know, he's able to get up and take a seat. Oof. See his body weight? He explains, yeah, that's the guy, take his picture. Now you'll notice in this... Uh, shot. The deliberate timing between Buster and the criminal. Look at the criminal. He looks at Buster. Pause. Buster. Pause. Click. You notice the photographer doesn't hear anything because it's that wonderful rule of silent film that if the people on screen show you they don't hear anything, it doesn't make a sound. And to make sure we're clear, he's taking the picture. Watch his head. And boom. In case you didn't see his hand snap the shutter, he used his entire upper torso to indicate that. The other thing that I noticed in going frame by frame in this shot is that there is a cut right there. Uh, you can see the frame line at the bottom. There's a splice in the negative. And you can see how long this actually takes, all the running around. But the simple information that we get in between those pauses is that door is open, lights back on. He looks one way, looks the other and then he rushes out of the shot. All right, now let's take a look at this at projection speed. Again, 24 frames per second. Again, we're just getting the information, and you'll see that the pauses that the criminal puts in uh, are almost completely gone. We're just getting the information. Aha, uh -huh, there's a guy at the window. There's the camera. Guy at the window. Hmm, I have a hat. I take the picture. Cover the lens. Sit back in the chair. Buster leaves. Photographer, well, again, he uses his whole body to indicate. Click. Turns his back, takes his hat, and leaves. He walks over, snaps the lights off. Again, the only information with the pause is gone that we need is silhouette in the window. Door opens and he leaves. Lights back on one way, the other way, and he runs out. Let's move on to the next sequence.